All right, guys, how is everybody today? Welcome in to Rover Sports and shout out to the Buffalo Bills on really an, an amazing win against the LA Rams. It was it was absolutely outstanding. Uh, Josh Allen put putting together one of his greatest performances uh, ever, Josh Allen and the Rams. It was awesome. And the thing is about Josh Allen in that game, they're up 28 to three. They're up 28 to three in that game. And Josh Allen, it's very easy for the Buffalo Bills to quit and 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 just and just say, ah, oh, we blew it. The Bills of old would have just just laid back and on third and twenty-two, Allen would have forced something, they would have lost that game. JP Lossman, Trent Edwards, all the other guys that they've had before him. But the team got up 28 to 3, was playing awesome. And then Sean McVay, Kevin O'Connell, Brandon Davies, that defense, Aaron Donald playing the best that he's ever played, an MVP type of defender, uh, one of the greatest defenders of all time playing on the Rams. And Josh Allen and the offense is having trouble. They're running the ball, Jared Goff, Cooper Cup. And the Bills have the poise in order to win the game. They're able to put everything away, all the negative things, and they're able to execute in the two-minute drill. And they're able to show in that moment, they're able to show poise. They're able to show an ability to have selective amnesia, which is so important. It's to forget about all the negativity going on and just play the play. And that is the experience of now a third-year quarterback in Josh Allen. And the throw to Cole Beasley on third and 22. Rolling to his right. Cole Beasley in the middle of the field. Josh Allen puts it right on Cole Beasley. Cole Beasley gets a first down. There's no celebrating. There's no going wild. Like, yeah, let go. Let's go. There's none of that. It's like, okay, we got to get this sucker in the end zone. Let, let's do this. Josh Allen, the ability for him to escape the rush and make big plays. He is, he is capable of winning a Super Bowl, Josh Allen. That's what he's shown me. He is capable of doing it. I'm not saying that he's going to do it because getting through Kansas City, getting through New England, Lamar Jackson and the Ravens still might be awesome. Pittsburgh, the AFC is difficult. The fact is, though, the fact is, though, the Buffalo Bills up 28-3. to Their offense is as explosive as ever. Brandon Bean, again, the development is absolutely impeccable with Sean McDermott. Bringing in a guy like Gabriel Davis, who's just a baller from day one. You know, bringing in Cody Ford, Singletary. Um, Tredavious White's development over the years. The Buffalo Bills, the, the play to Tyler Croft in the end zone, uh, the fact that Lee Smith gets a touchdown, it's a very selfless team. John Brown, I mean, guys get open. Stephon Diggs bringing swag to the offense, like Brandon Bean said. Everything good about Diggs is coming to the forefront. None of the negativity, none of the whining on the sideline that you would see in Minnesota sometimes. It's a swag of confidence, and he's been nothing but great since he's been in Buffalo so far. And this Bills team, people are worried about the defense. They're worried about the, the way that they gave up points. But the reality is if the Bills, if they keep going at this trajectory and beating the Rams and being up 25 on that team is, is flat out unbelievable. It shows you the potential of this team right now is through the roof. The potential is this, they played championship ball to be up 28-3. to three. They play, they're playing championship football. And when this team puts it all together, put it this way, going to Oak, going to the Vegas, Bills are favored. They can win that game. The Bills look like a 13-3 and three team. Guess what? If the Bills get a bye, if they win the AFC East this year, they're going to be playing two home games and where it's really cold. Really cold. You know what teams are not going to go out there and beat them? Teams that are not the Kansas City Chiefs. The Bills' defense is going to rock. And that time of the year, you could be hopeful. You know, maybe things will be different. Maybe there will be allowed to be maybe a couple of fans that can impact a game. It'll certainly be, you know, bittersweet having a home game, not being able to attend to Bills' home game for the first time in like 30 years. But the fact is the defense at home in the cold, even though if there's people there or not, 
I still think the Bills' defense will ball out. Look at how the Chiefs played the, the played the Colts uh, a couple of years ago. Andrew Luck came into that game right. The, the 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 Colts' defense, Colts' defense was horrible, or the Chiefs' defense was really bad all year. The Colts, Andrew Luck, that offense couldn't do anything. You look at the at the at the uh, New England Patriots. Their defense is is very average. But uh, during the season sometimes, but when they get to the playoffs, they get that bye week, they get to settle into a home game, and they get to play it, it, in the comfort of their own home. No no team's going to want to go in the Buffalo and play when it's so cold, but the Bills are absolutely used to that style. It's why the team, you know, it's why the offense is explosive enough. It's why you can live with some of the bad, the fumbles, a couple of picks, because the offense just hits such big plays that they're scoring now at such a high clip because they're throwing the ball 35, 40 yards down the field, and Allen can make these plays routinely. He's an MVP candidate. He's playing at his apex, you know. Uh, Josh Allen, I'm a huge fan of his. This is even better than I, I expected Josh to be. And I've had great expectations, and it's it's been absolutely wonderful and fantastic. Couldn't be happier for the guy. And the guy, Josh Allen, Josh Allen even said this. He said, great answer that Tony Romo liked and everybody liked. Okay, Josh Allen just got done winning an exhilarating game against the LA Rams in an incredible fashion when the, the old Bills would have put their head between their legs and just left the stadium and, and been absolutely just irritable and, and would, have, would have choked it away. Oh, same old Bills, same old Bills. Not, not on this watch. The old Bills also would have lost to the Miami Dolphins. When they were down, they would have said, ah, the rain delay, we're on the road. This is ridiculous. We can't stop Ryan Fitzpatrick. Uh, all this adversity, uh, you know, it's a tough divisional game on the road. And we just don't have it. We're, we're going we're gonna to lose this game late. Uh, we're up big on the Rams. The old Bills, I've watched Bills football a lot, you know. I've watched it. I followed the NFL. I followed the Bills. They would have lost that game. But Josh Allen, he, he wills the team. And, and even after the game, you know, you'd expect Josh to be jubilant, freaking excited. No. Josh Allen, it's like we blew a 28 to 3 lead. Like, that's totally unacceptable. Even though we won the game, we got the result of a W. We got to be better. We got to be cleaner. We got to put teams away. That's a sign of maturity because a lot of other guys would have been like, I'm just so happy to get the win. I'm so thankful, you know. But Josh Allen realizes, like, part of the games were unacceptable. So he's hungry. Josh Allen's hungry. Josh Allen on the sideline, I love him throwing the helmet on the ground. Because in that moment, he showed that he really cared. He wasn't apathetic. He wasn't just going through the motions. This guy is a very vocal, vocal leader. Vocal. And not an annoying vocal that's always in your face at all times. Josh is usually calm. That's why that that outburst there on the sideline, you know, you listen to Josh interviewed and everything. He's not like an, an irritable, angry sort of guy. He doesn't have a temper. He just, you know, he went through that scenario and he, he just cares. That's the point. He just cares. This Bills team, when they get back home into the playoffs, I just can't be more excited for this team. And I, I know that the defense is going to play a lot better. And McVay is absolutely a genius, and he's absolutely spectacular. That's the thing about McVay and this defense. Is, you know, it's getting more reps. I'm excited. I'm excited about the way that this Bills team is going. I am. And Josh Allen and an exhilarating win. I'll have a Bills Raiders preview. I love both of the teams, honestly. I'm a big Gruden fan. I love the I love his personality. Um, I love how the Bills are like the last bastion of ground and pound, how they have Jacobs. They're a fun, they're a young and exciting team. And that game is going to be phenomenal. It's like two of my favorite teams. Four o'clock is going to be lit on Sunday. It's going to be absolutely wonderful. So really excited for it. And anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching uh, this little video on the Bills. I wouldn't worry about the defense. The defense will change. The defense will evolve over the year, get even better. The defense knows championship-level football. There's enough guys that remember how they were even playing last year. The defense will ball out. Do not worry about them at all. The fact that the offense is up to the defensive standard, it shows you you can win a Super Bowl this year. It shows you you're a top-five team, and you're going to have a shot in the end there. You just pray for good health. Keep the team on the track on the, on the same trajectory. Brilliance can happen. A buy in the playoffs, a second seed in the AFC, and a shot at Kansas City, and a shot to maybe go to Tampa, and a shot to maybe win a Super Bowl championship with this quarterback and this football team.